Hello once again. It's been a while, eh, gents? And we are back. And it's been a weird couple of weeks or last week and a half or so. So very quickly off the bat anyway, uh, I'll use the first part of this Grand Arena just while I'm checking mods and things like that um, to go over a little bit of a personal situation that I've had. And so as some of you in the Discord server um, will know that uh, the company that I work for has gone into administration or more so uh, liquidation at the moment. And uh, so it's a case of a little bit of unshaky ground, uh, hoping to come out of that probably by the end of next week with a bit more certainty. But for the moment, there was uh, not, you know, videos 100% took a back seat. Um, you know, I'm a guy who's got a mortgage, a young child, and it's, um, again, there is, you know, situations like this sort of spring you into action anyway. It's okay. I think it will be like absolutely fine. I don't think there'll be any disruption, but it's just waiting for a few things to fall into place. Uh, the industry, I mean, it's quite easy to sort of go to competitors or stay within a company um, if it's connected, etc. So, yeah, it's, um, as I said, I, I don't want to say too much before I can actually update you and just say it's all over kind of thing. And I'll come on to... Um, like the the grand arena performance last week was mm, it was okay like rounds one and three were absolutely fantastic uh round one the guy messaged me and he said i really don't care about grand arena what do you want me to set and i said well you can put a full defense you can put paper defense you can put whatever you want i said I have, the only thing i request is night sisters and just because i was going to try and get the um the feet done for the imperial troopers so Kind of did that and he forgot to set Night Sisters. So he just set a paper defense. So round one was nice and easy. Round two was a little bit weirder. Uh, oh yeah, and you would have seen there, I forgot to actually put mods on Darth Revan. I was doing the Geo Brood Alpha um, swap on him for like the Watt and the Atque mission and forgot to put them back. So this could be interesting. Now, probably what I'll do with it, I'll put the mods back on now. So for all intents and purposes, the, the opponent doesn't really know that I haven't got any mods on Darth Revan. So I'll put, um, I'll probably use him for like a, possibly a Night Sister counter or something easy just to undersize. Um, it slows him right down to 187, but there we go. So in this one here, I, I actually really like... Um, Droidica in this Geo lineup and assisting each and every time a Separatist takes a turn. Geos take a lot of turns and it's going to be a lot of assists as well. So I actually quite like it. I put it in Territory Wars. It didn't hold, um, but again, I, I might start incorporating this. Now, the theory, theory here with Thrawn as well is uh, I've got to burn Thrawn on this one, unfortunately, which I don't mind doing because there's no Galactic Legend here, is Again, I'm straight away going to swap the turn meter over. I then want to fracture into Droidica. Droidica is 100% in this squad the, the main threat. Uh, Spy isn't relic, so not too much of a big deal. And I'm going to be taking out Droidica first uh, before anyone else. So just being able to take out Droidica here, it makes my life a whole lot easier. And the rest will fall quite easily. So... But when you say take out Droidica, um, a little bit easier said than done. Oh, nice deflect. Oh, lovely deflect. Two deflects in a row. Thank you very much, Droidica. So uh, while the rest of this battle plays out anyway, uh, during round two of uh, the last Grand Arena, it was a little bit weird. I was in work and I'd had like one or two cans of Pepsi Max. And apparently Pepsi Max is one of the absolute worst, fizziest drinks or gassiest drinks around. So... Anyway, I was glugging it away, loving life. Uh, it is actually my favourite drink as well. And probably about five o'clock in the evening, I started getting heart palpitations and the irregular heartbeat. So anyway, uh, I've had them before and they don't last long. They last a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes tops, and then just go back to normal. And anyway, this episode on, um, you know, sort of last week as well, it it was weird and uh, you know i sort of drove home and it was sort of feeling a lot worse i felt sort of lightheaded felt like i like very tingly arms i couldn't catch my breath at all i mean i'm like i'm not i mean you know uh, i'm a, i'm a sort of fairly young guy 34 years old keep myself in fairly good shape as well and you know go running and things like that so it's not a case of like I'm too worried about my heart health. Uh, everyone's diet could be a little bit better at times. 
But anyway, um, sort of like I've had them before heart palpitations. And as I said, they, they like pass pretty quickly. And I'm not on about sort of every couple of months. I'm on about, you know, once in the last two years. So I didn't pay it much mind. But anyway, I got home and it was a case of, you know, I, I pins and needles in the arms, the legs, couldn't catch my breath, feeling really lightheaded. My heart is absolutely dancing around my chest. And I've kind of, um, I'm in a really bad spot. I'm thinking, right okay this this actually feels like a heart attack and uh, no pain though so that's what made me think that it wasn't and the heart palpitation probably lasted for about four or five hours it was odd i i felt absolutely horrendous when i was closing my eyes i couldn't feel my nose or my face or anything like that it was really weird and anyway going back to pepsi max um had like probably about two hours in had quite a big burp and felt a little bit better <laughs> so um anyway leading on from that it was more a case of it was just um like intestinal gas pepsi max had like just absolutely exploded and yeah so it, but apparently intestinal gas can actually like expands quite a lot puts quite a lot of pressure on um or like squeezes the top half of your chest basically and could cause the heart palpitations i should probably go and get it checked with an ecg and stuff like that um but you know what men are like when it comes to health and things like that so uh, but that was super scary so feeling rough physically for like the next couple of days feel like absolutely fine now no issues nothing nothing else um but as I said, it was one of those things where it sort of all tied in. Um, I kind of thought I don't feel particularly stressed about um, about sort of like losing a job, going into liquidation or anything like that. I'm really not a stressed guy when it comes to that. And uh, again, I don't really. But there was part of me that was saying, oh, my God, I've been stressed the last week. I really haven't. And I genuinely put it down to all a physical thing. So anyway, that's been my week been a weird week but a real shift in priorities and as i said when things like that come along you've kind of got to shift your priorities to go with it hopefully that story hopefully you're still with us and you're not too bored um after that but i thought i'd be transparent and share it uh but other than that last week's grand arena was pretty good so anyway that's the board at the moment we've got general skywalker he's only got about 40 50 thousand health um something like uh, protection so wasn't really too worried about that was going to go in with um padme and yeah so we joined back after a little bit of action uh still that darth revan with no mods absolutely rocking the front and the the plan is uh, and again playing to the opponent grievous held Jawas actually did the job they got they they restricted it to 55 banners and the the plan there is to put the sith empire down the bottom without malak and malak sits in the back with emperor palpatine and some other sith now night sisters i will make a passing comment on this night sister tells in lead usually i go bounty hunters against night sisters but that extra 50 percent tenacity um i'm i'm much prefer going against um Bounty Hunters against an Asajj lead as opposed to a Talzin. Because the Talzin lead adds that 50%. When you've got Dakar with a double stun, um, Talzin with her special uh, and stun. And then you've got uh, you, uh, basic for Asajj as well. There's a lot of stuns and I'm pretty sure that um, Ghost can stun, not Ghost, Spirit can stun as well. So it's more so just playing the numbers here and being able to keep what uh, a little bit more versatile here as well. Weapon tech's going to go straight over to, to this guy. And there's nothing really of note in this battle. Um, able to take out a Sarge I want to take out pretty quickly. So soften her up with... I haven't really played a huge amount with Hux. These first order usually go on defense. And I'll let someone else work it out. So big hit here. Okay, so we got rid of a Sarge. That's one of the main ones. Uh, AoE, job done. So that's that one out there. So now we go to work on Mother Tal's in. And while this battle's playing out, anyway, um, the only thing of note, really, I didn't quite catch it, but I couldn't, uh, can't remember whether Hux actually brings Acolyte, not, Ac is it Acolyte? Yeah. Can't remember whether Hux brings Acolyte out of, um, out of stealth. 
so I think I missed a missed a trick here. But yeah, good chance while this battle's playing out as well because it is a little bit rinse and repeat as well. So thank you for the support. If you're not already, um, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like and comment. I don't even care what comment it is. Just tell me what you had for lunch. But it helps out hugely with the uh, the YouTube algorithm and just getting like supporting the videos. And you guys have supported the, the channel a huge amount. So um still feel like an absolute imposter when it comes to Grand Arena because again it's just a regular Joe just playing a you know playing a game trying to get through it really um again that's my thoughts on it so thank you all very much for your ongoing support so that's that box checked and yeah so as I said I think I missed a trick here I think there was a point where I thought oh my god I'm gonna actually time out um, but yeah, as I said, I think Hux does actually get the job done. So yeah, weird, weird week. Weird couple of weeks, actually. Mm, that was a basic. But yeah, let me know your counters as well. Um, let me know sort of what you go through um, Night Sisters with, because I always find this, this is a really tricky team. So it'd be interesting to get some feedback on what people use to get through Night Sisters. Uh, Padme I tend to use quite a lot in undersizing and again first order are great but I don't really like the offset of losing them on defense in all honesty. So yeah let me know what you what you um, what you take Night Sisters on with. Uh, yeah this really is a boring I really did stall on this battle didn't I? Yeah and it's his third ability I think it Brings him out of stealth. No, it must be the the middle one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, I think it does bring him out of stealth. So there we go. Got rid there, and I can go over there. So not going to hide under stealth anymore. So sixty banners here, fairly smooth. All apart from well, it's more a case of learning the kit as well. So now I know for next time, I can get through it a lot quicker. Okay, so that's what we've got left here. And okay, so my thought was actually what I'll probably do is go General Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka or something easy like that and then use Padme for like resistance or whatever it is. I'm, I'm not really too bothered. Uh, or even that Separatist squad. Um, or I can go full five. I'm, I'm not too bothered anyway. So... Anyway, it's been a while since I, I was going to try the um, the Knights, and talking to Night Sisters, here's another talking point. So the Night Sister counter against Grievous, where you go Daka as lead. Now, I would I, I was kind of umming and ahhing about this for a while. And I was thinking, she's got at the moment, she's got a health, uh, six, plus 16% health mod on her, which is great against everything else. But I would have thought that actually, probably... Um, for this Knights of Counter, you probably need a crit avoidance arrow. The reason being, General Grievous can actually like crit for a ridiculous amount, let's put it that way, based on his health. Uh, or the damage output can be absolutely ridiculous, or even worse with uh, with T3 in there. And I actually do like T3 in uh, by giving extra crit damage and armor penetration, things like that. So I think it's a lot cheaper than putting Watt in, in terms of when you play the numbers. So you keep Watt for offense or a different squad. But I'm half tempted to go like Grievous, B2, uh, B1, and then kind of got to have Magna Guard in there. Um, may go BB-8 or may go T3. I, I'm not quite sure. So anyway, with this battle, I've, I've done it before with BB-8s, but uh, they just seem to completely get out the bat, completely hard-coded to go for, for this guy, Revan. So now it's going to be scrambling over to get uh, Jolie reviving. So throw this other one. I want to get um, buff immunity off of Yoda and call in Jolie as many times as I can to call to assist. Thinking about a heal here, but no, I'll just do a little bit of that. Um, okay, now they've got all those goodies speed up as if they need any more speed up. And now I'm in a tricky spot. Actually crit there as well, even with the crit avoidance arrow. So get out of this quick sharp. So BB-8 is not to be underestimated. 
And I'm actually quite glad that I did that uh, rather than uh, misplay, misplay. I'm actually quite good, glad that I did that because I know now that BB-8 is actually a very effective weapon in there as well. I'm still unsure whether BB-8 or I do like BB-8 for that extra speed though, uh, or T3. So I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. So there we are, big hit from Grievous. Oh yeah, the game's been a little bit janky at the moment. I'd assume that there is, I think there's a game update on the way, not 100% sure. But yeah, when you spin your characters now in the inventory, they've got like some pretty cool lighting effects on them just, you know, to get the most out of it, go to a shiny one like Phasma or First Order TIE Pilot and they're, they're looking slightly different, looking a little bit more polished up. So nice to see that there's some work in the back end to make the, the game look a little bit nicer. So anyway, we're down and OK, I'm just going to do a little bit there. They go into super clones, get rid of that stun. Uh, not a huge amount I can do here. Ideally, I don't kill off B1 before, um, but there's not a huge amount I can do before gas stands up. But can tank it anyway. And it's pretty much good night from here on out. There we go. 33 is horrendous in terms of banners, though. So we're going to have to pick that up. Right, can't quite remember where I went after this. Um, brilliant commentary, I know. But having a look at speeds, I think I was considering bounty hunters. It is a little bit weird because I record this over the course of the day. So I do like chippy, choppy battles and kind of just go in and like have a think about it. And then come back out and then go, oh, yeah, actually, and then see how the opponent does. And so it kind of takes me the full 24 hours, whereas I, ideally I'm just going to go straight in. So here I'm, I think Cad Bane is actually quite useful for a stun as well. Uh, couldn't quite remember. Because I've got Django Fett there. He goes quite a lot whether I want to put. But then I've also got a team there. I've got a new team that I could potentially use. Um, but I decided on Cab Bane, so I thought, well, it probably would be useful to have Droidica in there as well, uh, just to get through Zalbar, maybe, possibly. Kind of want to get rid of Dooku here. So, not quite. And we get stunned, so that was probably a pretty bad, um, pretty bad move. In hindsight, I would just go straight for Newt, because he doesn't revive. Most Newts are actually horrendously um, squishy, so... This was a complete misplay at the start, but it's only when I'm watching it back do I sort of realise, OK, that's what you need to do. So there's a little tip for you. Get Django to go straight for uh, for Newt and he won't revive. So actually, this, is, this isn't a bad play. They're exactly the same. Boba can execute anyway, so it turns out, OK, he's not coming back. And I've just got to worry about banners in this uh, in this situation. But I do like Zalbar. I think he's a pretty underrated tank, you know. He's certainly on the list for Gear 13. Uh, him and Mission, I really like both of those characters, actually. So they're going to be getting some love coming up very soon. Um, I actually can't wait to finish for Kylo because then I can sort of delve into the characters that I actually want to delve into and go for Gear 13 and Relics as well. So, um, But yeah, kind of realise that actually I want to get rid of Wat Tam Boar. That's probably more important. So he's got all his tech out. And yeah, go for what Tambor here. Nice big hit. Get rid of him. Armour Shred on Basque, but not really too bothered. The, the team is doing its job. It's keeping up its banners, really. And there we go. That's not a bad little reset there. Uh, dodge. Go ability block here. Don't quite know why I didn't execute that. As I said, I'm completely different frame of mind when I'm actually sitting down watching these battles as opposed to. Okay, so we've got contract up. That makes my life a lot easier. We've still got to deal with this guy. I might take Django's relic level three at the moment, so I may well take him up to like relic level five. But unfortunately, at the moment that kind of Ren is absolutely just. Yeah, I can't, I like legit can't spend anything else other than uh, 
you know, if I'm going for him, I've, I've got to go for him, you know. So there we go. Nice bit of healing immunity there from uh, Boba Fett. And that's why it is quite useful to, rather than damage, um, use Boba Fett to his strengths. I actually quite like, right, you see a lot of people go crit damage or offense or whatever it is. But I actually think modding him for potency, at least a potency cross, if not potency sets, is actually pretty useful. At least until he's at relic level. He doesn't do a huge amount of damage when he's gear 12. So if he's gear 12, what I would do is actually work him to his uh, to his strengths just go potency and get those ability blocks out and then also get that um that healing immunity out as well because that's going to be more useful to you than just straight up damage Django is going to actually do the damage so again it's not really an issue um getting kills so there we are there's the little tip bit of information that's why you came and okay going in here uh Shakti not really too bothered I, I do like Shakti you know when um in like that Galactic Legend, uh, Galactic Republic lineup as well. Kenobi to relic level seven, so he'll be able to tank absolutely pretty much everything. And okay, double hit there rather than Anakin's big hit. Get rid of Skywalker. And don't want to do big o AOEs just in case like Rex absolutely flops get rid of fives first and foremost now i can go straight after rex no kick yet um just want to i want to save the kick for when um anakin stands up nice dodge thank you very much can go big hit there okay and yeah we're looking good again i really didn't have any um worries about that squad but not to be taken lightly, you do have to, the way the way it is and the mechanics of it, you do have to sort of give it some respect. So now I'm left with this one. Now I've got droids, I've got new, uh, I've got nest. Um, don't really like the nest option though. Got like JTR and droids. And I've actually got droidica. So I think JTR and droids would actually work quite well here with BB-8. So uh, against this resistance. The leadership is 6% uh, defense, offense, and potency. So with the leadership, then they're going to be getting their exposes, reducing our cool, uh, turn meters and, uh, and increasing theirs. Um, so I was very, very sor sorely tempted with like JTR and the droids, but I've then gone like good old fashioned like this. I never, I always put them on defense, never get to use them on offense. This one was a little bit different because I put um, Darth Revan down the bottom just because the guy was uh, missing General Anakin and I had a faster one. Well, I, I say I had a faster one. I definitely didn't at the time of lock-in. Let's put it that way. So um, a bit of defense down. Thought I'd get a stun there. Okay, got a stun there. Right, we're looking good. Probably got a little bit greedy here going for a stun on Poe, but he does reduce turn meter, so I thought I would try and get a stun. He's tenacious. But we got a plague out there anyway. Here comes the turn meter train. Get rid of that and go straight back in for Finn. The only real damage dealer, when I say the only real damage dealer, I mean expose is a damage dealer in itself, so you... I mean, resistance trooper is uh, is a big damage dealer, but uh, essentially, I don't really like the the whole reason why I do put night sisters on defense is simply because they don't generate a huge amount of banners, and they are someone else's problem to work out in terms of how to get through them. Uh, I thought it'd be a nice change of pace, and this one allowed me to. So again, it worked. Um, and then, I mean, the straight swap is I've got Darth Revan to deal, like, left over to deal with this squad, all that Grievous as well. And we're on to ships. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm It's quite late in the UK at the moment. And I'm yawning on the video once again. I'm sure I've done that before. Right, we've got the negotiator. I actually went in and waited here. I went into Fleet Arena. I tried a mirror match. Absolutely lost it horrendously. Uh, yeah, so... I thought, okay, let's see how this guy does first and foremost. Had four bottles, battles on that scoundrels. Those scoundrels are a good squad, you know. Um, they'll get you cheap holds. We also got, he would have got Malevolence Mirror Match. I assume probably lost that. Then Thrawn, then Rebels possibly. Uh, or the other way around. But he 
took three, so I'm in a not bad spot. My aim here is to go in and kill Anakin at the very least, because then I can clear it up with anything, rebels or whatever. So I'm not going to put any rebels in here. Uh, currently farming BTL as well. I think that's a very good ship, you know, when you see it in arena. Okay, here come the boys. And this is roughly how I remember it anyway, because I haven't one, done one of these. I'm actually using Malevolence to climb in the arena at the moment. Right, get him down. Ahsoka, yeah, that's fine. Don't want to do Breach yet. Not Breach. Uh, we have Breach, but don't want to do it yet, because you're more likely to get... I say that, but I caught it anyway. You're more likely to get buff immunity. Um and misplayed there, so I should have gone basic, cleared the taunts off, uh, cleared the debuffs off. So now I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm going to struggle to to clear this. Bit of damage in here, bang. And just want to go big on that ship at the moment. Anakin's not looking in good shape at the moment because I haven't got that taunt on Hound's Tooth. Okay, keep. Oh, yeah, and of course he gets his bloody taunt as well with protection. As I said, just get me through to Anakin. He's exposed. He needs to be dealt with. Oh, big hit. All right, definitely get a taunt up now. So pretty much perfect timing on that, weirdly. Uh, getting absolutely pummeled at the moment. Okay, let's uh, let's flip the script. Bring in Plo Koon. Get these boys out of jail. Okay, and that was Hound's Tooth dealt with. So we don't have a taunt out there on deck at the moment. So let's go straight through to General Anakin. Ooh, that was a big hit. Uh, what's coming in? As I said, the, the game at the moment for me is a little bit janky. So uh, hopefully it doesn't, like the game update doesn't affect performance too much. Throw out a taunt there. Can we get to uh, Anakin? Not quite. Can we get him this time? Eee! Still stuck behind it. There is a target lock. Oh! If my heart hadn't been skipping enough beats, uh, again, this uh, this battle, <laughs> this Star Wars Galaxy here is no good for your heart health, you know. Um, I shouldn't joke about it. I really shouldn't. Can't be bothered with any banner recovery. Happy with that. Let's just finish it off and hope you've enjoyed. So as I said, I've been Moon. If you're not already subscribed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and let me know what you want in comments. Don't even care. And I will see you next time. Cheers, guys.